Hey, what's up, guys? Okay, hey, what's up, guys? It's Luca, and it has been a while since I have updated you guys on my transition because I've been gone. It's been it's been about um, it's been about uh, two months and two weeks on testosterone. Um, it's about two months, one and a half weeks, if I'm exact. Um, I have a hard time keeping track of time. I've always struggled with that. This this transition is not making it any easier. Um, yeah, so, what, I have a lot to update you guys on, but I just want to focus on, like, physical changes in this video. So, uh, the first physical change, I would say, is I think my voice is changing. I don't know. I have a sore throat right now. I had a sore throat about right before my second shot. People have told me that my voice has changed, but I think it's at the same exact pitch that it was at when I used to, um, when I used to, like, purposefully lower my voice. Now this is just how it sounds when I when I talk, you know, when I'm just doing it, just, just talking. Um, I think that my mood has improved, but that's kind of also the fact that it's spring now, finally, in Washington State, and where I live, uh, we don't get much sun, like nine months out of the year, so sun makes me very happy. Uh, which is also something that reminds me that I'm going on a trip to check out a new state to see if I'm actually going to move there uh, during the summertime. So that's pretty exciting, and that's going to happen um, in about 25 days. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably vlog that whole trip. Um, uh, I've noticed that my dysphoria has shifted. I used to have really bad voice dysphoria to the point of where I wouldn't talk. Like, I was a really quiet person but not because I wanted to be quiet, but because I just hated hearing my own voice. And I still have voice dysphoria, and there are some times where I kind of feel myself kind of pulling back towards that, that mentality, where it's like I don't want to talk because I don't want to hear my voice, but that's changing. Uh, that's changing a lot. I find myself speaking up more, and that's really cool, and that's because I feel comfortable with my voice. Um... I'm finally getting out of the house more um, because I finally feel comfortable um, with myself enough to actually get out of the house. There was like a few, like a year, guys, where I just like kind of stayed inside and didn't do anything. I stopped talking to all my friends and I just was depressed, terribly depressed. I just lay in bed all day. I like go to work, go to school, lay in bed. That was it. Um... I've noticed that I do get irritated a lot more easily, like I get irritated more easily now, but I get angry less often. So like people will do thing that people will do things that irritate me. Um, but the way that I experience anger and irritation has truly changed. Um, and so I used to just feel it. I want to just say in my face, like, I can't really explain, I used to just feel my anger in my face, um, and it used to be, like, kind of a split-second thing, like, it was like, I'm not angry, and then I'm angry, um, but now, I actually recognize my anger much more easily, so I'll feel it, like, I don't know, in my arms at first, like, I just, like, I can feel, like, my arms get tense, they get, like, warm, and, like, you know, it kind of, like, it kind of works its way up all the way across my body, and then, like, my chest, and if I... And, and so that's interesting that I experience anger differently. Um, I find myself do, I do find myself doing things a little bit more, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like I kind of become a little bit more of an adrenaline junkie, and I think I've always been an adrenaline junkie. I just think that, um, now that my, I'd say the rest of my emotions are less intense, I like that feeling a lot more. So I do a lot more like risky things now, I would say, or at least I would do, I do things that I would normally do, but I do them to, uh, like I do it a little bit more extreme. So like if I'm going to skate and there would be like, you know, something that I, I'm not sure if I should do, it's a little too scary for me. I just do it now, like, I, I don't care, like, I just, you know, stair set's a little bit bigger than I'm normally used to, I'll just jump down it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, what else have I noticed, um, physically, 
Um, I think I'm. I think my muscles, muscle mass is changing. Uh, I'm not really sure. I've been trying to work out a little bit more. I've been trying to eat more. Um, so there's that. Um, what else? Uh, my my sex drive has increased exponentially. That's true. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, in, it's increased a lot. Um, what else? I don't know. I, I think that's, honestly, guys, that's about it. I think my, my voice has maybe dropped a little bit. My muscle mass is changing a little bit. I grow a little bit more facial hair down here and here. And a little bit on my chin, but nothing really worth noticing. I shave that off every day. Um, I My mood has imp improved a lot. I think that's mostly due to the fact that I'm starting to feel more comfortable in my own body, and that is a really cool feeling. Um, with the whole transition, I think that it's been very hard and taxing at times, um, but I definitely don't regret starting testosterone at all. Um, yeah, I, I think that that's about it. I, I want to cut it off pretty short. I want the video to be fast. There are a lot of topics that I want to talk about. I have a lot of videos that I'm really excited to show you guys that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. And I have a project that I'm working on that I'm very excited to uh, share with you guys. And um, yeah, so again, my name is Luca. Thanks for watching. This is my two months and two weeks on testosterone. Um, if you like this, Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Peace out.